With the introduction of Windows 8, Microsoft have attempted to create a user interface that looks consistent on Windows PCs, laptops, tablets, mobile phones, and Xbox games consoles. As Windows 8 has been designed to incorporate touch, as well as the more traditional mouse and keyboard interface, Windows 8 is now made up of three elements, the start panel, charms, and the desktop. When you first start your computer, you're shown the start panel. This consists of tiles which link to Internet Explorer, Mail, Contacts, Photos, the App Store, Share Price News, Calendar, Local Weather, News, Sports News, Searches, Different Forms of Media, and your computer's desktop. As you may have noticed, each tile is able to show snippets of information, so at a glance you can be kept up to date. By scrolling across the tiles, we're also shown any programs that we've installed on our computer. As you can see here, I've installed Office 2013, which means the Start Panel can also be used to load any programs that I've installed on my computer. The Start Panel is a direct replacement for the Start button. However, it does not encompass all of the functionality that the old Start button provided. The second element that makes up Windows 8's user interface is something called Charms. The Charm bar will show important functions within the operating system. For example, the search function, how to share information, how to jump from the Start panel to the desktop, devices that are connected to your computer, and your computer's settings. The final element to Windows 8 is the desktop. For anybody that has used Windows before, this will be the most familiar element to the Windows 8 experience. As you can see, the Windows 8 desktop still contains the taskbar and the system tray. Within the system tray, you will find the default icons that were also present on Windows 7 system tray. The taskbar works in a similar fashion to the taskbar in Windows 7. As you can see here, I have pinned the Office 2013 icons next to the Windows Explorer icon on my taskbar. Perhaps the most glaring omission from the desktop is the removal of the Start button. This has been replaced with either the Start Panel or the Charms Bar, depending on which program or function you need to access on your computer. The removal of the Start button is perhaps the most controversial element of Windows 8, but once you start to become familiar with the new ways you can access functions and features, it becomes less of an issue.